Hello students. Today I'll begin with the explanation of the essay What I Require from Life by J.B.S. Haldane. So before beginning with the explanation, I'll request you to keep the text open before you so that it becomes easier for you to understand it. First I'll take Unit 1. Margaret Fuller, a New England mystic, once said, I accept the universe, to which Thomas Carlyle remarked, God, she would better. I have got to accept the universe as it is. Now here he begins by referring to a particular uh, incidence where he mentions about Margaret Fuller, who was an American writer. And once she said, I accept the universe. So she actually made a commitment that, okay, I will accept the universe the way it is. And to this particular remark, Thomas Carlyle responded and he commented that God, she had better. So it is good that she has accepted the universe the way it is. Now Heldin says that I have got to accept the universe as it is. We cannot change the things around us in this universe. So it is better that we accept the way it is. I must not require the impossible and I shall do harm rather than good if I try to imagine perfect things in a perfect world. So this is how he explains what he has stated earlier that I have got to accept the universe as it is. Why? Now he mentions the reason behind it. He says that I should not ask for something impossible from this world, from this life. And if I expect something impossible or beyond imagination, or if I demand for a perfect thing in a perfect world, then he shall do harm to this world and to himself rather than doing, rather than doing good. But given the world as it is, I can say what I may reasonably hope both for myself and for others. So if I uh, look at the world or take the world as it is in its natural existence, then it will be easier for him, for Heldane, to mention what all he requires for himself and for others from this particular world and from his life. I was born in a peaceful age and in my youth I looked forward to a life of peace. So he says that I was born in a peaceful age, in a peaceful era and in his young age, in his youth, he looked forward to a life of peace, to a peaceful life. Since 1914, I have been living in a heroic age and I see no prospect of surviving into another epoch of peace and quiet. So he says that since 1914, with the outbreak of World War I, he has been living, he had been living a life of uh, heroism. He had been living in a heroic age and presently he does not see any hope of surviving into another era, an era of peace or uh, quietness. So I must try to make the best of the time in which I live. So he says that provided that uh, whatever era I am living in and when I have no hope of surviving into another era, it is better that I make the optimum utilization of the life which I have in my hand presently in the contemporary era. So he wants to make the best of the time in which he is living. What do I ask for myself? So what should he ask for himself? He's putting up a question. I assume that I have food, water, clothes and shelter. So he's presenting an assumption before us and he says that uh, basically I should have food, water, clothes and shelter. These basic necessities of life. But next what he says, he says that first of all, I demand for something else and that is work. He says, first work and a decent wage for my work. What he requires is a good job, a good work and a decent wage for his work. Aristotle defined happiness not as a sum of pleasures, but as unimpeded 
activity so he says that aristotle a greek philosopher once said that happiness is not a not pleasures in totality or a sum of pleasures but it is the free working of a person the free activity without any interruption without any interference so heldin says that i want work which is hard but interesting work of which i can see the fruits so he wants wants a work which is hard but it should be interesting and a work which can be productive which should be productive actually for him and he could see the outcomes of it this kind of work he demands from life for himself i am exceptionally lucky because i can choose my own work to a large extent so he says that he is lucky enough that he can make his own choice as far as his work is concerned if i want a respite from science i can go and be a war correspondent or write children's stories or make political speeches so now he is working about the options he says that uh, uh, if i take a break from science then what all i can do i can go and be a war reporter a reporter of war or a writer of children's stories or he can even prepare political speeches so i enjoy a good deal of my second requirement freedom in fact vastly more than most people now first requirement was work and a decent salary a wage for his work second requirement from his life is freedom and he says that he enjoys freedom more than other people do but i want still more particularly more freedom of speech so he says that although he has enough of freedom in his life but still he crave for more freedom especially freedom of speech i should like to say and write what i think about lord blank's newspapers mr dash spills and sir john astrix beer all of which are poisonous now he says that i want freedom is freedom of speech so that uh, i can say or write whatever i want to say and write about uh, lord blank's newspapers or mr dash spills or sir john's beer now all these are imaginary people okay nothing to do with any real identity of any a live a uh, living identity nobody has a living identity out of these these are only fictional characters here which he has used for humorous effect the law of libel prevents me from doing so but the law of false statement stops him from doing so it is not possible for him to speak out the reality about anybody when he sits to speak or write about any person around him so therefore he craves for more freedom of speech next he says i require health i don't mind an occasional toothache or headache or even an acute illness every 7 years or so so the third requirement is he wants health he says that he won't mind an occasional toothache or headache or even an a serious illness every 7 years or so but i want to be fit for work and enjoyment in the intervals and to die when i can work no longer he says that he can afford occasional toothache headache or even serious illness every 7th year but then he wants to be fit for work and he wants to enjoy his break his intervals from the work and he wants to die when he he would no longer be fit enough to work then he would prefer to die now after health he says i require friendship so the next requirement from life is friendship particularly i require the friendship of my colleagues and comrades in scientific and political work so he says that in particular i require the friendship of my colleagues and the companions in my scientific and political ventures i want the society of equals who will criticize me 
and whom I can criticize. So he wants to live at power with people who can criticize him and whom he can criticize. He wants to lead a life of equality as far as working conditions are concerned, as far as friendship is concerned, as far as criticizing is concerned. I cannot be friends with a person whose orders I have to obey without criticism before or after or with one who has to obey my orders in a similar way. So vice versa, he says that I cannot be friend with a person who whose orders he'll have to obey without any criticism. Either it is before work or after work. Or nor can he work with a person who has to obey his orders in the same manner. So he wants criticism, liberty to criticize actually in friendship. This is the kind of friendship he wants in his life where he can freely criticize other people and others can criticize him. And I find friendship with people much richer or poorer than myself very difficult. So he says he wants to be friend with a person who is of the same stretcher to which he belongs. He cannot be a good friend to a person who is much richer to him or much poorer to him. So... With this, we come to the end of unit first, where uh, Haldane has mentioned about some of the requirements, some of the things which he requires from life. And here he has mentioned in unit first about work and a decent wage for his work, then freedom and particularly freedom of speech. Then he requires health. He wants to remain healthy and fit, at least when he is working. Then next he requires friendship. So we have come across the four basic requirements which he has mentioned in unit first. That is work, freedom, health and friendship. So that's all for the explanation of unit 1 of the essay What I Require from Life by Heldane. Thank you.